Kamala Harris. His full name is Kamala Davy Harris. To guard it and never take it for granted. And protecting our democracy takes struggle. It takes sacrifice. But there is joy in it. And there is progress. Because we, the people, have the power to build a better future. To our campaign staff and volunteers, this extraordinary team, thank you for bringing more people than ever before into the democratic process. He was a famous first woman 49th Vice President of the United States. He was born on October 20th, 1964, in Oakland, California, United States. His father's name was Donald Harris and mother's name was Shyamala Gopalan. Kamala Davy Harris is an American politician and attorney who is the 49th and current Vice President of the United States. She is the United States' first female Vice President, the highest ranking female elected official in the nation's history, and the first African American and first Asian American Vice President. A member of the Democratic Party, she will assume the office on January 20, 2021. Her inauguration, alongside 46th United States President Joe Biden, follows the chaotic four-year governance of Donald Trump, who left the nation's capital hours before the ceremony on January 20, 2021. The vice presidency of Ms. Harris, a former prosecutor, district attorney, state attorney general and United States senator, and the daughter of Indian and Jamaican immigrants marks a critical milestone for political representation at an equally turbulent moment in American history. Kamala Harris' mother, a Tamil Indian named Shyamala Gopalan Harris, worked as a breast cancer scientist. Her father, a Jamaican named Donald Harris, serves as a Stanford University economics professor. Kamala Harris was very close to her maternal grandfather, an Indian diplomat named P. V. Gopalan. She and her younger sister Maya went to both a Hindu temple and a black Baptist church while growing up. When Kamala Harris was seven, her parents separated and her mother was given the custody of both the children. Subsequently, the sisters and their mother moved to Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Kamala Harris studied at West Mount High School in Quebec and later attended Howard University in the United States, where she majored in political science and economics. In 1989, she returned to California and earned her Juris Doctor, J.D., from University of California, Hastings College of the Law. The following year, she was admitted to the State Bar of California. From 1990 to 1998, Kamala Harris served as a Deputy District Attorney in Alameda County, California, prosecuting cases of robbery, murder, and child rape. In the late 1990s, she worked at the San Francisco District Attorney's Office. In 2000, Harris was recruited by Louise Wren, San Francisco's elected city attorney, for the position of head of the Community and Neighborhood Division. In 2003, Harris defeated Terence Hallinan to become the San Francisco District Attorney. She is the first South Asian and black woman to achieve the position. She was again re-elected in November 2007. As the DA, she began a program that offers first-time drug dealers the opportunity to earn high school diploma and find jobs. In 2009, Kamala Harris got her book Smart on Crime, a career prosecutor's plan to make us safer published. In the book, she attempted to analyze criminal justice from an economic perspective. 
She worked for the California District Attorneys Association as well as the National District Attorneys Association in different capacities in the 2010s. In 2010, she campaigned in the California Attorney General election, where she faced Los Angeles County District Attorney Steve Cooley. She emerged victorious and on January 3, 2011, she became the first Jamaican-American woman and the first Indian-American Attorney General in California. In November 2014, she was re-elected against Ronald Gold. In the United States Senate election in California in 2016, Kamala Harris defeated Loretta Sanchez, winning 62% of the vote. On January 3, 2017, she was sworn in as the United States Senator from California. Kamala Harris was one of the top contenders for the 2020 Democratic nomination for president. She ran a spirited campaign but later on opted out of race due to lack of funds and endorsed Joe Biden's candidature for president. On August 11, 2020, Joe Biden announced Kamala Harris as his running mate for the 2020 United States presidential election. With this she became the first black woman to be a major party vice presidential nominee. Joe Biden won the presidential election and consequently, Kamala Harris became the vice president-elect of the United States. She will assume the office on January 20, 2021, alongside president-elect Joe Biden. People on Earth. And it's an idea as alive and powerful today as it was when it was first proposed. The most powerful idea in the history of the world, I think, beats in the heart of the people of this country. No matter your race, your ethnicity, no matter your gender identity, your sexual orientation, no matter your faith, it unites America, whether your ancestors were native to these shores, whether they were brought here forcibly and enslaved, whether they were immigrants from generations back, or those coming today looking to build a better life for their families. Our best days are not behind us, they're ahead. In times as challenging as these, I believe there's only one way forward. As a united America, united in our dream of a better future for us and for our children. This is our moment. This is our mission. As the San Francisco District Attorney's Office, Kamala Harris developed a special hate crimes unit that focused on crimes against LGBT kids and teens. She supported same-sex marriage in California and opposed both the Proposition 8 and Proposition 22, which aimed to prevent same-sex unions. She introduced the California Homeowners' Bill of Rights that grants homeowners more choices while fighting to keep their home. This bill banned dual tracking and robo-signing, and also gave the California Attorney General more power to investigate financial frauds and set up special grand juries to impeach multi-county crimes. In 2012, Kamala Harris sent a letter to about 100 mobile app creators, asking them to comply with the California law in terms of privacy rights. She also warned them that if any developer's app does not exhibit a privacy policy statement during the installation, a possible fine of $2,500 might be charged for every download. On February 12, 2015, she announced that she would launch a new agency called Bureau of Children's Justice. The Bureau was created later the same year. It focuses on issues like the juvenile justice system, foster care, childhood trauma, and school truancy. The National Urban League hailed Harris as a woman of power in 2004. She was honored with the Third Good Marshall Award from the National Black Prosecutors Association in 2005. Kamala Harris has been married to Douglas M. Hoff, a California attorney, since August 22, 2014. Through the marriage, she became the stepmother of two children. Her sister, Maya Harris, is a MSNBC political analyst. Her brother-in-law is Tony West, a former senior official at United States Justice Department and currently the general counsel of Uber. Kamala Harris said, If you are fortunate to have opportunity, it is your duty to make sure other people have those opportunities as well.